one of the keys to a rite of passage in the construction is industry is for a company to obtain proper bonding. Bonding is important, is critical for them to be able to get some of the larger jobs. Today we have Katya Strongolos, who, is, who was the vice president for bonding for Aviva Insurance. Katya has had over 30, 35 years experience in the bonding industry and uh, we thank her for being with us to here today. So Kathy, if you could explain bonding to us, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Nick. Thanks for inviting me this morning. Um, as Nick said, I have been in the surety construction industry for four decades. I run the surety department for Aviva Insurance Company Canada up until December 2007 when I retired. Uh, today, I'm involved with the uh, Stevenson and Hunt Insurance Brokers. Construction specialized in brokers having all kinds of clients, large, medium, small, advising them on their insurance and construction needs. Well, surety, uh, it's uh, according to many contractors, an evil, but it is a necessity if you want to be successful in North America. There are two different types of bonding, uh, tender bonds and construction bonds. The tender bonds, are provided with the tender package and is the bid bond and the agreement to bond. Bid bond guarantees that the contractor will enter into a formal contract with the owner if they are successful. And if not, then the surety company and or the contractor will pay the difference between his bid and the next successful bidder to the owner. The agreement to bond uh, is a document signed by the surety only and guarantees that the construction company will enter into a formal contract if they are successful in their tender. So why don't we talk about servicing of the surety bonds? How they, do they get serviced? Okay. Be before we talk about servicing, let me talk a little bit about the performance bond and the labor and material payment bond. Perfect. Uh, performance bond uh, is a document that guarantees that the contractor will fulfill his obligations according to the terms and conditions of the contract. Uh, and the labor and material payment bond guarantees that all the suppliers and the subtrades that they have a direct contract with the general contractor will be paid. So those two documents are very important for the general contractor, for the owner, and for the subcontractor. So basically you are the peace of mind for the owner to make sure that everything gets done properly and that the job is gonna be done on a timely basis. That's what you do, you facilitate that with the bond. Uh, you facilitate, and not only that, you guarantee it. Which, which is, is uh, even better. Which is even better. Um, the main two services that the surety company provides is the pre-qualification, which is a benefit for the contractor, and the financial security that is provided to the owner as a guarantee. How do you ensure the financial security and how do you ensure that a company that you bond will be able to do the job and meet the qualifications for the owner and for the JC? To pre-qualify for a, a bid bond, for a, a bond, for a bonding facility actually, Nick, uh, it, it's a big process, but um, it, it's a process that any contractor, as I said before, that wants to be successful has to go through. And what they have to do is explain to the uh, surety company, to the underwriter, what they are made of, their financial position, their technical capacity, who the people they have they are, what they can do, how many projects they have, what size, where are they, and all that. An underwriter is not a contractor, but really knows the impact of a financial uh, problem if it arises, so it can not only guarantee the contractor's project, but also advise him if there's any pitfalls in any contract. So not only are you there to basically give a bond, but you're there to evaluate a company so that you are basically giving an assurance to the owner and to the GC that this company is a good company. And also, I, I, I think to the company itself, by assist, if they do have flaws, you can point out those flaws and assist them in helping them get uh, evaluate their business and eliminate some of those flaws that absolutely they have. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Um, for the, uh, as you said, for the contract of the pre-qualification, it's not only a benefit, but it's like a rubber stamp. Uh, it's an independent guarantor. Yeah. 
uh, verifies and confirms what you can do, it's okay. A lot of my clients get upset with the aspect of double bonding. Well, right, and we're not talking about James Bond here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, okay, if you can explain well, that, that would be great. Double bonding, uh, really, Nick, is a mis mis misinterpretation of the word. Uh, when a general contractor gives a bond to the owner, it transfers the owner's risk to the surety company. When the subcontractor gives a bond to the general, the general contractor's risk is eliminated and transferred. So it's not really double bonding. Yeah, and it also allows that general contractor to ensure that his subtrade mm -hmm. is good it's and good. has good financial has a good financial status because you're evaluating that subtrade also at the same oh, time. Absolutely, many contractors will say, "Well, I have worked with these subtrades for many years; they are good. They completed every contract." Well, yes, but you don't know the unforeseen circumstances. You don't know their financial position. You don't get their statement to see. Right. A surety company is able to do that because that's their job. Exactly. So you you give them another level of another level credibility, of another level of assurance, and also even risk elimination. Yeah. And I've seen that with the banks. The banks will give more to a company that has bonding than to a company that doesn't have bonding well, because, because you're re evaluating that business. Evaluate somebody else, somebody independent guarantees that you're okay as a contractor to fulfill this contract, this obligation, and all that. That's excellent. Now, so let's recap. If we could recap what bonding is. A bond really, uh, Nick, as I said, is not just a piece of paper. It's a document. It's an agreement and guarantees that one party, the principal or the contractor, will fulfill his obligation towards another party, the obligee or the owner. Uh, bonds are executed by surety companies, which are part of a usually a large insurance company, and uh, they have to be licensed in the jurisdiction where the construction project is taking place. By necessity, it's an agreement between you, the contractor, and the owner, the obligee, uh, and the surety company that you're going to fulfill what you have undertaken towards another party. A bond cannot be cancelled unless the obligee or the owner agrees to it because he is the beneficiary of the bond. So bond for an owner is peace of mind? It's a peace of mind. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Katya. That was excellent. And uh, I'm sure our, our clients will really appreciate you coming in and doing this for us. Thanks again. Thank you for inviting <laughs> me.